Some like a Broadway musical or an evening at the Pops, while others go to Nashville, and to them it is the Tops. But one thing I'll assure you that's much better as a rule is the annual Christmas program at a one-room country school. They haul out all the little desks and put them in a shed. A stage is made of curtains sewn from sheets off teacher's bed. The kids make all the trimmings for the school and for the tree and display their finest artwork for everyone to see. Then comes that special evening we've all been waiting for. Folding chairs and benches cover up the hardwood floor. Every kid has learned their parts. They've worked for many days, memorizing lines and words to poems and songs in place. Of course, they're not professionals like those in Broadway hits, but you'll find no better acting than in all those little skits. And later, when the program's done, old Santa make a show. He's sometimes just a look-alike and someone you should know. The kids, they all exchange their gifts. Of course, the homemade kind. Those gifts don't cost no money, but no one seems to mind. And then, to top the evening off, we all get quite a treat. Homemade Christmas cookies that the moms have brought to eat. So this year, when you're wondering how to celebrate the Yule, try the annual Christmas program at a one-room country school. This poem was written by Yvonne Hollenbeck in Clearfield, South Dakota. Hello everyone! We'd like to welcome you to our Christmas play this year. We bet this play is different from any other Christmas play you've ever seen. We wanted to do something new and different. Christmas! Bah humbug! That line belongs in another play. Oh, that's right. And how about Christmas? Bah horse feathers! <laughs> Read for the sky! That's right. There won't be any Christmas at the OK Corral this year. Look, the cookies and milk are still here. And there aren't any presents under the tree. Okay, low down, rotten thing to do. Crime doesn't pay. We'll put them in jail for the rest of their lives. Wait a minute, we can't do that. Why not? We don't have a jail. <laughs> then we'll hang them. But will we hang them from a cactus? <laughs> I came, you know, went to school in Elko. We never had anything like this, and I was absolutely floored when I saw what the kids did down here. I was amazed, and I knew that they got up in front of a group like I never could. To this day, I can't do what those kids do. And it's, they learned it at a young age. And you've been in the Valley for 49 years? Mm -hmm. So you've been attending the programs for that long? Yes. <laughs> I've seen quite a few of them. <laughs> when the kids put on their play, and then afterwards the adults are congratulating them on their good job, and they have learned how to very graciously accept this congratulations and to be very polite to the adults. And I feel it has taught them respect to the elder people. It's a community gathering. It uh, it always has, and and hopefully it always will be. 
but the school acts as a as a community function in that way for everyone who's in the valley, and that includes parents and grandparents and people that just live there that maybe don't have any children in school anymore or anything, but they come too. I think it's neat that the teachers we've had out here have always been willing to make that extra sacrifice to to put on school plays, and I think it's Though, like I said the other day, when I applied for this job, the first question that was asked from the principal was, are you willing to put on two programs a year? It's probably the only opportunity for some of the children in the Valley to ever see Santa before Christmas. So it's nice for the, um, the kids to put this program, they work hard putting it together for the community. The younger kids got help from the older kids. Um, it is kind of sometimes the only time that some of the people in the community get together is at the Christmas program. The biggest thing with the Christmas program is you always were so anxious to get done with the play because then Santa was coming right afterwards. So it was this big rush to get the play done and then try to get to the window to see Santa come up in his sleigh. And both the Christmas 